Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Psyche Patshala. Go to our channel home page and click on the subscribe button. And to get notified for our future videos, click on the bell icon and choose the all option. To answer daily quiz on psychology, search for Psyche Patshala on Facebook and like our page. So let's start this video. In this video, we will be discussing about endocrine system. So what do you mean by endocrine system? The endocrine system is made of the endocrine glands in our body. The endocrine glands secrete hormones that are directly poured into bloodstream. These glands do not have any duct, hence they are called ductless glands. The hormones from endocrine glands do not initiate any specific activity by themselves but influence the activity of various organs such as heart, liver, circulation of blood, etc. The activities of these organs are either accelerated or slowed down depending upon the hyper or hyposecretion of hormones which are reflected in various physiological and psychological behavior. Therefore, from psychological point of view, endocrine system and endocrine glands are very important. Endocrine system is controlled by autonomic nervous system. As such, its activities are not under conscious control. The endocrine system helps in maintaining bodily homeostasis. To measure the hormones in our body, the method that is used is called radioimmunological assay. Radioimmunological assay or RIA is an immunoassay that uses radio labeled molecules in a stepwise formation of immune complexes. An RIA is a very sensitive in vitro assay technique used to measure concentration of substances usually measuring antigen concentrations. In this method, a blood sample is drawn from an individual and in laboratory settings, the blood sample is labeled with radioactive isotopes that attach to itself in the hormone complexes. And in stepwise formation of immune complexes, the level of hormone present in that blood is assessed. Among all the endocrine glands in our body, the most important one is pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is located in the brain itself, just below the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus controls the glandular system by influencing the pituitary by secreting several releasing factors. Pituitary gland is the master gland, the one that controls or influences all of the other endocrine glands by secreting trophic hormones. The pituitary secretes nine kinds of trophic hormones, which regulate the other endocrine glands and body functions. The other glands which are influenced by pituitary glands are adrenal, thyroid, gonads, etc. Pituitary hormones are called trophic hormones because they act on an area far from their origin. The hypo or hypersecretion of pituitary hormones are related to bodily growths. Excessive or deficient secretion also lead to under or over sexual activities because they produce sex cells as well as hormones. In total, Pituitary releases 9 hormones. The hormones that are released from our anterior pituitary are somatotrophic hormone or human growth hormone that mediates bodily growth. Second one is adrenocorticotrophic hormone or ACTH that regulates hormone secretion of the adrenal cortex. The third one is thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH that regulates the secretion of thyroid glands. The fourth one is luteinizing hormone and the fifth one is follicle stimulating hormone. Both of them are together known as gonadotrophic hormone or GTH. 
they are responsible for the secretion of reproductive organs the sixth hormone released from the anterior pituitary is prolactin which is responsible for milk production in human females from the intermediate part of the pituitary melanocyte stimulating hormone is released and from the posterior part of the pituitary antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin is released which is responsible for water retention in blood and producing highly concentrated urine the last hormone that is secreted by the posterior pituitary is known as oxytocin which is positively correlated with the feeling of bonding with a child the next gland is pineal gland pineal gland is about the size of a pea located in the brain near the back directly above the brain stem the pineal gland secretes a hormone called melatonin this hormone melatonin in humans is responsible for regulating the sleep wake cycle the next gland is thyroid gland thyroid gland is located in the lower portion of the neck region it produces thyroxin hormone this thyroxin hormone is responsible for the maintenance of basal metabolic rate early deprivation of thyroxin leads to cretinism a condition of severely stunted physical and mental growth under secretion of this hormone results in neurological cardiovascular renal and respiratory disorders over secretion of this hormone leads to a condition known as myxedema a condition characterized by swelling of areas on the skin just the way you can see on the picture on right hand side the next one is parathyroid gland parathyroid gland is a small structure situated below the thyroid this gland secretes parathormone which regulates calcium and phosphorus metabolism the primary function of this gland is to maintain bony structure of the body damage or removal of this gland results in neural disorder called tetany a medical sign consisting of the involuntary contraction of muscles caused by increase in the action potential frequency of muscle cells or the nerves that stimulate them damage to this gland also leads to weakening of bones due to loss of calcium and is often characterized by aches pain and groan the next one is adrenal gland adrenal gland is located above each kidney each adrenal gland has two parts an outer part and an inner part the outer part of the adrenal gland is known as adrenal cortex and the inner part of adrenal gland is known as adrenal medulla the adrenal medulla secretes two hormones namely adrenaline also known as epinephrine and noradrenaline also known as norepinephrine these hormones are produced when people are under stress and aids in sympathetic arousal insufficient secretion of these hormones cause fatigue loss of appetite anemia sleeplessness darkening of skin etc these syndromes are known as addison's disease the picture on your right shows the characteristics of addison's disease the outer part of the adrenal gland or the adrenal cortex secretes three kinds of hormones namely aldosterone cortisol and sex hormone the hypo or hyper secretion of these hormones can result in number 1 imbalanced metabolism of carbohydrate and salt number 2 development of cushing syndrome in adult males due to hypersecretion of cortisol 
Signs and symptoms may include high blood pressure, abdominal obesity, but with thin arms and legs, reddish stretch marks, a round red face, a fat lump between the shoulders, weak muscles, weak bones, acne, and fragile skin that heals poorly. Women may have more hair and irregular menstruation. Occasionally, there may be changes in mood, headaches, and a chronic feeling of tiredness. In adult women, development of masculinization or virilism due to excessive androgens and in adult males, excessive estrogens may cause feminization, particularly breast enlargement. In children, abnormal adrenal cortex functioning may lead to excessive sex hormones that may cause precocious puberty, meaning early sexual maturity. The adrenocorticotrophic hormone or ACTH secreting from pituitary gland prompts the secretion of adrenal hormones. All hormones of adrenal gland taken together as a group is known as corticoids. The next gland is pancreas. Pancreas is situated in the middle part of the body, just below the stomach and above the intestines. In secretory function, it is both exocrine and endocrine gland. The exocrine cells of pancreas are responsible for the enzyme-rich pancreatic secretion. The endocrine parts secrete insulin which regulates the blood sugar by increasing the deposition of glucose in liver and muscles as glycogen. It also secretes glucagon which acts antagonistically to insulin, which means insulin acts to reduce the blood sugar level in our body and in the absence of blood sugar, glucagon acts to increase the blood sugar level in our body by breaking down the glycogen stored in our muscles and liver. Important note, insulin is secreted by the beta cell of islets of Langerhans from our pancreas and glucagon hormone is secreted from the alpha cells of islets of Langerhans of our pancreas. The next glands are gonads or the reproductive organs. The gonads are sex glands including the ovaries in the female and the testes in the male. They secrete hormones that regulate sexual behavior and reproduction. They do not control all sexual behavior though. The important male hormone is testosterone. This hormone is concerned with the promotion of male sex characteristics and bone growth and changes related to sex drive. Ovaries secrete two important hormones, namely estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen is responsible for regulation of menstrual cycle and growth of female reproductive organs and secondary sex characteristics. Progesterone is responsible for maintenance of pregnancy. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Click on the circle to subscribe to our channel. Click on the boxes to watch other videos on our channel. Like this video and share it with your friends.